It's a one-time thing. Burble was not present in the court. Taking advantage of this, some ministers started filling the ears of Emperor Akbar against Burble. One of them started saying, Your Majesty, you only give every responsibility to Burble, and his advice is taken in every work. This means that we are incompetent. But it is not so, we are also as capable as Burble. Burble was very dear to Maharaj. He didn't want to hear anything against them, but he figured out a solution not to let the ministers down. He said to them, I want an answer from all of you. The courtiers hesitated and said to the Maharaj, Okay, sir, we accept your condition, but first, you ask the question. The king said, What is the biggest thing in the world? Hearing this question, all the ministers started staring at each other. Seeing his condition, Maharaj said, Remember that the answer to this question should be correct and precise. I do not want any awkward answer. On this, the ministers asked the king for a few days' time to answer this question. The emperor also agreed to this. After leaving the palace, all the ministers started looking for the answer to this question. The first said that God is the biggest thing in the world, then the second said that hunger is the biggest thing in the world. The third rejected the answer of both and said that God is not a thing and hunger can also be tolerated. So the answer to the emperor's question will be neither of these two. Time passed slowly and all the days passed. Still, all the ministers started worrying about their lives after not getting the answer to the question asked by the emperor. Not finding any solution, they all reached Burble and narrated his whole story to him. Burble already knew this. He said to them, I can save your life, but you have to do as I say. All the ministers agreed to Burble's words. The very next day, Burble arranged for a palanquin. He gave the task of lifting the palanquin to two ministers, got the third to hold his hookah, and the fourth to take off his shoes and himself sat in the palanquin. Then all those ministers were signaled to walk toward the king's palace. When everyone reached the court with Burble, Maharaj was surprised to see this scene. Before he asked Burble anything, Burble himself said to the king, Your Majesty, the biggest thing in the world is thunder. It is because of their thunder that all of them have brought my palanquin to this place. Hearing this, Maharaj could not stop smiling and all the ministers stood with their heads bowed in shame. Moral of the story, don't be jealous of someone's ability, rather learn from it and change yourself.